right, well, welcome back, guys. We are on the road again, and we are doing an adventure lab over here in Ohio. Uh, I think it's like kind of in Indiana through Ohio. It's called the John Hunt Morgan Heritage Trail. So apparently this was a confederate force that came up in through indiana and then through ohio and was trying to divert union forces from attacking south uh you can look that up and verify all that but it seemed like a pretty cool thing to do this is a 10 stop adventure lab so we're gonna do probably five of them today and then come back and do the other five so Stay tuned, and remember, look down below, check out those links. Uh, if you need great YouTube thumbnails, there's a place to go there, and also all the camera equipment that we use while doing these videos are in the description below, and follow those links over to Amazon. Some are affiliates and some aren't. So, other than that, stay tuned, and we'll catch you at the first one. All right, here we are at the first one, and the question is, how many hours later did Union Forces reach this point? And I'm taking one. I just put one. All right, we got the first one, and it is the Morgan Raiders, Enter Ohio. We're going to move on to the next one. All right, here we are at the next stop. Uh, we're just moving up the road here through Harrison, Ohio. Here it is. It's called When the Civil War Came to Indiana. Let's see. All right, General John Hunt Morgan was known as the what of the Confederacy? And that is the Thunderbolt. All right, got it. This is actually really pretty cool. I lived in this area my whole entire life and never really knew that this had taken place. All right, well, one thing I didn't realize is that the other answer to this is right here. So at the Battle of Corydon, how many men of the Indiana Legion did Morgan's men outflank? 450, so we'll get that answer in here real quick. We're gonna move on to the next one. All right, here we are at the next stop. And we are looking for how many Union forces lay in wait in Southwest Ohio. Nearly 10,000. So let's go with 10, zero, comma, zero, zero, zero. All right, that's got it. That was a pretty easy one. And there's all kinds of neat stuff right around here. All right, we're gonna head on down the road. All right, well, here we are at the next one. And the darkest of all nights, which Kentucky Cavalry did Confederate Scout Lieutenant Kellyon Franklin Petticord belong to? Petticord of the 14th Kentucky Cavalry. All right, that's got it. All right, guys, let me give you a quick explanation of what we're doing here with this adventure lab. We are doing the first five of part one of this adventure lab because there's 10 spots that you have to check out. So. We got a little bit of a late start today. We didn't get a chance to do all 10. So this is part A of part one of the John Hunt Morgan Heritage Trail. And from what I've seen, there's like eight or nine parts to this of different adventure labs. So we're gonna try to do them all over a period of time. Uh, I think it would be pretty cool to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there, just make sure everybody understands what we're doing here. And other than that, I want you all to be safe out there, take care, and we'll catch you next time.